What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Hope you're well. Good morning from Canada. All our pipes are frozen here on the East Coast. Sinks not working. Um, bathroom not working. So <laughs> I got to get out of here. I'm leaving in three weeks. So I'm pretty happy about that. Hello, sunshine. But uh, that's really not important. Let's go over our friend Bitcoin. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we're going to go over a little bit of news. We're going to do the analysis as well as look at the DXY. So currently we're sitting at 36,831. We're down about almost 5% on the day. We're sitting at a market cap of 694 billion. 24-hour volume, 21.10 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest crypto-growing app, the world's fastest growing crypto app, and you can grab one of their incredible Visa cards for cash back in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix, Prime Travel Incentives, depending on the level of card that you have. Also, a big shout-out to the Discord, guys. I just added daily buy and take profit zones for many, many altcoins. So if you're looking to start to dollar-cost average into your trade or you just want to see some buy zones, some take profit levels, price of a coffee you can sign up through the patreon 350 usd so let's start off with a little bit of news here so so the bitcoin volatility index falls to a 15 month low this is from blockchain today so we can see here on a weekly basis the volatility index fell to a 15 month low in february and analysts believe that that range of btc price fluctuation will remain small in the coming days so basically it's telling us that the market is going to continue to be really boring <laughs> so turbulence will return to the market if bitcoin tries to break through the resistance around 40k which i've been mentioning on the channel 40k is our key resistance if we break above it then i will flip bullish so the arcane research report notes the forty thousand dollar mark is a key resistance level giving the slow rise in bitcoin recently we shall see how the cryptocurrency will test this resistance level soon a breakout would be a relief for the bulls and could signal a trend reversal. So as long as we stay below 40k, guys, there's really no reason to flip bullish at all until we break that key resistance. However, as you can see, we came up and we got rejected by 38k once again, just as we did here. Bearish divergence, early indicator of a drop, and that's exactly what we've seen. So we're going to pop back over to the four hour. You can see we are trending towards oversold on the one hour once again, and then as you usually when you're going to see a little bit of a bounce so let's pop over to the four hour time frame so we broke down from our ascending channel we back tested it as resistance and we fall on lower we had a little bit of an ascending triangle here and we broke down so your technical target from this ascending channel here is down at the bottom as i have been mentioning which is at 33k you also have a breakdown target you measure the body of your ascending triangle it is a bullish pattern but of course it can break down take you bound down to about 35.5 k we also have support from our falling wedge pattern guys i'm just going to pull this line out just a little bit here which is coming in at about 35.7 k if we lose that support guys i would expect that double bottom and for us to find support here at about 33.7 k i'm going to drop in a little price tag so just keep an eye on that, guys. Hopefully, if we do come down to that level, we see a beautiful double bottom and a push back up to 38.8K. And hopefully, we can break 40K. If we lose that support, guys, I would expect 28 to 30,000 for BTC. You can see we perfectly came up and hit the resistance of our descending broadening wedge as well as the 20 EMA. I said watch this level of resistance, guys. If we get rejected, we will come back down to about 33.3K. And then, of course, as I've been mentioning for ages now, if we lose that support, do expect 28K or 29,000 right here. Let me drop in a line for you guys as that is our next strong level of support and very, very close to our technical target from our Fibonacci, which is coming in at 28.2 thousand. Give this a little price target as well. So if we do break that level of support, guys, quite possibly we'll do a little something like this. We come down, we find support, we hit resistance, and then we come down to 28,000. The bullish scenario, guys, we find a strong level of support. We break through, we back test it, and we come up and we break 40K and we see the reversal in the trend. So I wanna show you guys the DXY. As many of you know, when the US dollar is rising, the price of Bitcoin is dropping, and when the US dollar drops, guys, the price of Bitcoin 
Bitcoin is rising. So as you can see here, guys, the DXY bounced off this level of support and we saw a big pump. I'm actually going to start on the four hour time frame. We saw a big pump starting January 14th. If we come to Bitcoin, guys, we go to January 14th. That's when we started to fall, guys. And then we started to see the DXY start to sell off, start to drop. That's when we saw the price of Bitcoin start to bounce. So once again, we are seeing the DXY fall here. We broke a key level of support. You can look at the RSI on the four hour, guys, and you can see we are trending towards oversold. And that's usually when you're going to see a bounce to the upside. And if we see a bounce to the upside for the DXY, that's bearish for Bitcoin. But if we pop over to the daily, we have lost a major level of support for the DXY. You can see, look at all the support in this area. So that's bullish for Bitcoin. The fact that we lost that level, your next strong level of support for the DXY is coming in at about 94. So if we do see the DXY fall down to 94, we could see a nice little push up for Bitcoin. Let me just get these squigglies out of the way here. So we might see Bitcoin do a little something like this where we come back up, create some sort of double top and then roll over. Of course, the bullish scenario is we break the 20 EMA and we break out of this of this descending broadening wedge, which is a bullish reversal pattern, guys. However, we do have a strong level of support coming in about 94. We have support here. We have resistance here, resistance here, support here, and we have resistance and support in this level as well. So if the DXY comes down and bounces off that level, then we will see the price of Bitcoin continue to fall. We would need the DXY to come down and lose this level of support as this next strong level of support is all the way down here, about 91. And then we could see a large breakout for Bitcoin. But as you can see with the DXY, we are creating higher highs and higher lows. We broke out of this massive double bottom pattern. So right now on the daily, we are seeing an uptrend for the DXY, which is bearish for our friend BTC. However, guys, I am still looking for our third wave of demand, as I've been mentioning, in every single bull run we have three demand waves currently we've had our second demand wave right here and we're just going through a massive phase of accumulation just as we did here second demand wave accumulation third demand wave right here as well second demand wave accumulation third demand wave so i do believe we're just going through a large level of accumulation so that's basically it guys a little bit boring but i have been dollar cost averaging into many many of my positions uh phantom matic uh what else guys ada i've been i've been grabbing some engine gal uh, DEVT, which is a new metaverse project I've been loading up on. Sand, I've been buying as well. A lot of metaverse, honestly. Mana, I've been loading up. I've been dollar cost averaging, of course. If price drops down, then I'll continue to dollar cost average into my positions. So that's basically it for Bitcoin, guys. Your next strong level of support here, about 33,000. Unless we were just to come up and break out and break 40,000, I do think we're going to come down and retest this level of support. If it holds, we could create a beautiful double bottom pattern. And if that is support is lost, guys, as I've been mentioning, I would expect 29K for Bitcoin. Currently, we are in a technical target to the downside from this ascending channel at 33,000 and the breakdown target from this small little ascending triangle, which would take BTC down here to about 35K. All right, guys, that's it for this one. If you want access to the Discord, it's 350 USD. Not only do we have the daily buy and take profit zones for dollar cost averaging, we have our current dollar cost average trades as well as the strategy explained here and over 1,000 members talking all things crypto, uh, posting chart patterns, all types of goodies in here, guys. 350 USD, you really can't beat it. All right, that's it for this one. Much love. Take care. Mm -hmm.